I remember the day I turned 18, like, I just woke up. I was like, oh, like, today's the day. So you're charging five pounds, I'm guessing, and you think that that's okay. Yeah. Do you know what? I look at it. It's just another human body at the end of the day. We all have a pair of d***s. All lads have a d You could look at it in an artistic way. So you're a piece of art. How would you feel if your daughter come up to you and said, Mum, I've started selling OnlyFans pictures? I'd be like, go on, girl. Do you not feel like you have no respect for yourself? I don't really care. <laughs> I'm rich as f*** now. I'll cry in the Maldives. What's the most you've made from, like, one video? From one video, I definitely paid six figures. <laughs> What's going on guys and welcome back to the Blue Tick Show. Opposite me today, I've got Belle Olivia, 21 year old OnlyFans <laughs> model. Is that what you go by? Yes, that's me. <laughs> well, welcome to the show firstly. Thank you. Look, Glad to be here. Most podcasts, you've probably had loads of guys ask you who you've slept with and all of that. Yep. I'm not here it. to ask any of that. <laughs> if anyone wants to know that, they can jump over to your last podcasts. Mm -hmm. But before we jump into it, talk to me a little bit about yourself, your upbringing, how you got to where you are, what made you start OnlyFans? Yeah, sure. So basically, well, I'm 21 now and I used to live in Ireland and basically I always wanted to like never have a nine to five. That was basically all I wanted to be was like rich. I didn't care how I did it. I didn't care what I had to do with it. So I was kind of like kind of a troublemaker child, if you know what I mean. Like I wanted to go against the rules. I thought it was fun. And like at school, I was really educationally like not smart at all. So I was kind of like thinking in my head like, what am I actually going to do? Like, I fail all my tests. Like, I'm actually so <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Um, like, even in all school, like, I was in, like, the lowest of, like, levels. Still failed. Like, I don't know how. But anyway, I was like, how am I going to be rich? And, like, I can't even get into uni. I what was your upbringing college. like? Your mum and dad? What were they? But I don't um, I don't live with my dad, but me and my mum, really close. Like, best friends. Just me and my mum in the house. And... Like, the, my parents, like, my mum was kind of strict. Like, my family's quite religious. I'm not religious at all, personally. Like, so it just didn't really work. She, I was, do you know what I mean, a bit, like, got in trouble quite a lot. But my mum was really good, and... What kind of trouble does a girl get in that school? Oh, in school, just, like, just taking the... Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, in, like, a, a lad's school, like, lads would just kind of mess around. Like, I was always one of them in the class that would just not really, like... I just hated school. Fair so enough. I didn't, I wasn't asked for it at all. And, like... I'd always go out like drinking and stuff when I was younger, like 16, 17, and just like just find trouble. So I feel like then when I was like failing in school, oh yeah, so nah, in Ireland, we finished school at about 18, 19. I know in the UK it's different. 18, 19? Yeah. So I'm quite, like in my last year at school, I was 18. So, so yeah, it is quite old, but, but. In the UK, it's like 16. Yeah, I know. That's why it's weird. That's why basically in my last year at school, I started, so we go in sixth year, last year at school, I just turned 18 and the whole time when I was 17, I found out about OnlyFans. Cause, no, it's a weird story. I was like taking nudes, sending like guys nudes. You know, young girl, you, you did that, you did that. And I was like, I just remember looking at them being like, oh, these are sick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these need to be, these need to be shown around. But like, I was like, I'm not going to so just. So were you never scared of like people finding out at school or seeing your nudes? I was a bit. Of, as everyone said, like, you get baited. I just never really thought about it. I didn't, my thought process was like, oh, that's it. I'm going to make this bag. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to start this. Second I turned 18, like, I remember the day I turned 18, like, I just woke up. I was like, oh, like, today's the day. So you knew, for... you knew from 17 you oh, wanted yeah. to do OnlyFans? Had, had the game plan planned out for a year. Like, literally, I was so excited to do it. Because I was like, I'm in my last year at school. I can just do this, like, I can go to school or whatever and come home, just do OnlyFans and just make a few extra money see where it goes i always knew i'd do well on it but i just had like this gut feeling but i didn't think i'd like make a full living out of it i was just like side hustle and um, so obviously i started and like being in school i didn't really think like people would find out because i was doing it on like apps that would people wouldn't really like see mm. but obviously like it only takes one person to like find out and like obviously i didn't think what my mum would think i had a boyfriend at the time and I wasn't telling him either. So, like, obviously, <laughs> when you're doing OnlyFans and stuff, you're taking nude pictures, yeah. posting it online. Yeah. You had a boyfriend. Yeah. You didn't... Or isn't that, in your eyes, cheating? See, like, yeah, I suppose. Because, <laughs> At the time, I was like, money. So I you didn't give a shit about hurting your boyfriend, anything like that? I feel like, I don't know. I didn't really think of it. I was a bit, like, like I said... Just out here for the bike at that time. Like and your mum, you weren't like, you was really close with her. Didn't you think um, your mum's going to think? I knew that as long as I'm safe and that I'm not doing anything illegal, that she will be all right. And if 
because she knows how I was getting stressed about not making money because like I said I was pretty dumb so I wasn't sure what I was going to do at all like I was probably going to work in like Tesco or something genuinely if it wasn't for this not that there's anything bad but like I had bigger sides I wanted me yeah bigger ambitions and so yeah so I didn't tell anyone and I started it I started doing really really well like really quick like the social medias I was posting on like I was staying pretty anonymous I wasn't doing posting too much now nothing mad I was posting just like nudes um but I know I knew in my head as I saw how much money I was making I was like I want to do everything so I was like okay right um eventually like I told the guy I was seeing and he was like he was actually like he was a bit like oh at the start but he accepted it don't know how so that was all right and then I remember like one day it's like it was all going well I was staying anonymous and then just like one day at school like it got put into like the, there's like two boys like girls school boys school got put into this huge group chat I just remember like walking into school that next day like everyone just like turns and looks and at I was this like point, oh what was you, shit at this point what was you posting like really bad stuff or I just think, oh yeah at this point like me and the guy I was seeing like had started making tapes together so I was I was getting there to be posting quite about everything so I just remember it was so awkward was, and it got to the point as well because like I was getting so many messages like I'd literally be sneaking out of lessons in in school to like reply to my subscribers like in the toilets like I say without fail at least once every lesson like I'd just sneak out like I was literally making money in school because like, I was texting them and they'd be sending me tips and, like it was just so fun like sneaking around I was just loving it but it's just weird because like people obviously they're like what you're in school but like I said we were literally I was 18 in and school. Then what did your mom think of it all oh obviously... this is bad <laughs> this is a bad story being a, how she uh, found out it's not said being religious as well like <sighs> your mom finding out must have been the way she found out I actually feel bad for her so I'm like I'm really like I was slow at this time I had the family laptop right the family laptop every day after school I'd take the family laptop go up to my room and I'd reply to my subscribers that was just my little routine um, and one day, and I'd always just then put it back in its place downstairs when I was done with it. One day, I obviously, I must have been tired. It must have been getting late. I forgot to close down OnlyFans on the laptop. And like, oh, my mum just wakes up the next morning, opens it up. And what did she see? My OnlyFans. And I was like, I told her, I kind of told her, I was like, oh, by the way, I'm posting bikini pictures on this site. Because I was getting money in. She was confused. That's where I was getting in. Because she like handled my bank accounts and stuff yeah, yeah. at that time so i just saw there was bikini pics but like she opened it up and she just saw everything and i was like i just had to say it and i was like yeah not gonna lie i'm doing this and, and she what did was, she say she was a she was just like at the start she's like oh my god like what are you doing but then i was like telling her how much i was making and she's like she just knows for a fact like if i want to do something there's no point in like telling me no like i'm 18 and i literally i just do whatever i want really no one could get in the way with it once I've made my mind up. Are you a business who are struggling with the rising prices of all the utility bills on the market at the moment? Energy Geeks specialize in finding you the best prices available. Their direct relationships allow them to access the most competitive prices on the market, helping you find exactly what you need. They can also facilitate in change of tenancies, sort out any billing issues, or simply offer you the most transparent advice available. The list of what Energy Geeks can do is endless. All their information is on the screen right now. The website is coming across the screen right now. Go and hit on their website, contact them business to business only. So if you're a business suffering with rising energy prices, make sure you contact Energy Geeks. So you're you're That's... 21 years old now, yeah? Yeah. You're making money from OnlyFans. That's your full-time job. Full-time job, you're yeah. A, I guess they call you OnlyFans model. Is that what you, or creator? Creator, or... whatever, really. OnlyFans girl. <laughs> and... You're gonna have kids one day. Touch wood. Well, that's the goal. I hope, hope so. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah like I, the I goal hate is kids to obviously. At the moment, but you hate kids. I just, oh, it's Why? Noisy and running around. Like, anyway, like look, rats. The, the plan is to have kids, <laughs> obviously, right? Yeah, yeah, long term. How would you feel if your daughter come up to you, or even your son come up to you when you was a lot older? I said, Mum, I've started selling OnlyFans pictures. I'd be like, Go on, girl. You'd support <laughs> her. seriously. Yeah, yeah, I'd be like, This is twenty. Well, what? Say I have kids in 10 years. I don't know, 2050? 2050. 20, 20, 20, is that? <laughs> I'm not, math isn't my strongest We're point. We're 2023, so 2033. 2033. 2033. Yeah, but the kid would be zero at that point, wouldn't it? If I have kids in 10 years. Yeah. So let's say 2040. Okay, so twenty. let's say 2050, like you said. Yeah, 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 yeah 2050. Kid comes at me and says, I want to start an OnlyFans, but... You'd support like, it? 
yeah, I'd just give, I'd show her the ropes, to be honest. I'd, because I, I know what to do and what not to do. Just yeah, but do you not feel like it's degrading a, as a woman? Uh, nah, I'm actually like, I just don't really, I just don't deep it, do you know what I mean? I but feel don't like, you ever feel like fi- it'll be so hard for you to find a partner who truly respects you for who you are? When uh, I feel like my personality will outweigh the cons. But you're, you're posting... <laughs> how much do you charge for, for a um, well, membership or whatever it is? It's actually on subscript, on sale for $6 now. So you're charging £5, I'm guessing? £5, pounds, yeah. Five cheeky pounds bargain. to see you completely naked, posting yeah. sex tapes and mm-hmm. the rest of it. Not a deal. And you think that that's okay? Yeah. I'm not to draw you out here, but yeah. I just want to understand from a, a woman's point of view because me personally... I could never date an OnlyFans model. Yeah, not completely. I, and each to their own. There's mm. some guys out there who will. Let's yeah. give back to them because it takes a strong man to date an OnlyFans woman. Mm. It does. Oh, Credit very where credit's strong. due because I could never do it. I'd lose my head. Yeah, I feel yeah. like she's cheating on me every second of the day. Mm. But I can 100% see why. Yeah, like and the do mindset. you not... Obviously, where you've... Pre, you obviously spoke to guys in your past. Yeah. yeah. Haven't you had guys be like, you've got to stop that? Do you know what? From the guys I've... Sp- I've actually, like... Because I was in a really long-term relationship. I've been having, like, relationships here and there. I've actually never had an issue. They just... They just... I just say... Like, if I'm seeing someone, I just... We just don't... I don't really, like, want OnlyFans to be part of the relationship. I just like to keep that my thing, my hustle. That's why I make money. And we just don't really, like... does not have anything to do with it. Obviously, there's been some guys that are, like... They try get in there, and I just... I wouldn't... I wouldn't fuck around with a guy that tries to tell me to stop so would you, would it'll you never it'll your, never happen would you allow your partner to do only fans yeah well you as wouldn't mind your man talking to other girls talking to fans. other girls but it'd be like the girls that are subbing it's just like it's more men I'm not even gonna lie when guys start only fans it's lads that's up All right, it's what about, girls what about if you saw your man replying back to a girl's DM girl DMs him and says oh, oh you're really fit and he replies back. Well, if he's, pay, if, they, she, if he's, pay, if she's paying him. No, no, she's not paying him. She's not paying him. She just DMs him. Oh, you look really fit today, and he replies back with thanks, babe. Is that right? Mm, I, why would he reply though? But then you're replying to a guy telling you he wants to fuck you. Only if they, only if they sub. <laughs> so that makes it better. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I got to give you <laughs> as much as we're in the in a generation where all girls do it and it's okay. Mm. I think. There's a load of men as well, alpha mm-hmm. males and stuff like that, who disagree with it. And there's oh, a load yeah. of women who disagree with it as well. And I'm just trying to bring yeah. that side across because I don't want people to watch this and be like, oh, you just agree with everything she says. And that. I want to try and make it a bit, a debate more like, so people can understand where some guys think of it. Some guys turn around and say, I'd never date an OnlyFans woman. Mm-hmm. And I think I want to understand a girl's point of view where they think it's okay to because some guys, I spoke to guys before you come on the show. I spoke to a few of my friends. I'm doing, I'm doing a podcast with this girl. Da, 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 da. I was like, listen, give me some questions to ask her because mm-hmm. I want to know. As a man, would you let your girl do it? And every person I spoke to so was no. like, oh, they were like, no way, fuck <laughs> that. Never let my girl be an OnlyFans model. They wouldn't. Yeah. And I think, do you not find it hard to find guys who actually love you, not just want to fuck you? Um, no, honestly. I've had, I've been lucky so far. I've heard loads of girls, loads of my friends have really bad experiences getting used by guys, guys just fucking them over a big time. I think I've been quite lucky. I feel like the guys I've met have just been nice, genuine lads, but it is quite a fear of mine to like, in the future. Because obviously at the moment, I'm way happy staying single. I just, what I'm doing right now, I just don't want anyone getting in the way, holding me down. I do lots of collabs and stuff. It, it just, it would just ruin the hustle at the moment. But in the future, like it is definitely like. So obviously, when you when you do get in a relationship, how are you gonna feel when he says you can't collab with any other men? That well, when I get to that point in my life, maybe I'll have stopped this OnlyFans. Because collabing with another man, that's a different that's ball game. Ch- cheating. That you is... know, I, I'd call that cheating. I, I personally, what if I was in a relationship, couldn't collab with someone else? I'd feel weird. Just wouldn't. I know some OnlyFans girls do it, but I just feel like. That's just me, at the end of the day, shagging someone else. Because that's what it is? Yeah, so nah. So what? what is your goal? Do you, Are you planning on stopping? Are you planning on... Nah. When do you... Plan- I might even rebrand as a MILF. Who knows? When the years <laughs> come by. <laughs> right? So, I, I just don't understand how you can do it. Especially be happy with your daughters or kids wanting to do it as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> because it's... it's well, m- hopefully they won't want to do it. 
I'd like to, because I think I'd have enough money to try to send them to a, like, a really good school or take them away from the UK, maybe, maybe bring them up somewhere else, you know, away from, like, because obviously the UK is brutal. Do you know what I mean? UK's fucked. UK's fucked. <laughs> it actually is. UK's Even like bringing up kids anyway. Like, maybe go back to Ireland or something. Nah, Ireland's pretty bad too. Oh God, I actually don't know. But we'll just see. Hopefully they won't. Hopefully the, if I send them to a right school. This video is sponsored by Cranbrook Law, an award winning immigration law firm. Their talented solicitors can help when any struggles arise regarding immigration law they can help get you the visas they need they can help get you the staff you need from any other countries as you can see the website is on the screen right now so if you need anything to do with immigration law message cranbrook law and let them help you whether you're looking to obtain a sponsor license receive advice and guidance in relation to compliance and our civil penalties or take advantage of our know-how and experience across a broad range of business visas our talented and dynamic immigration lawyers are available to speak to you telephone numbers on the screen emails on the screen and hit the link in the bio if you need any help because the only fans mm. the only fans girls are getting so much more accepted in society now like me personally i don't accept it that's me yeah. just me being yeah. honest i don't get it twisted i think only fans girls are fit i think mm. they're nice to sleep with i think they all look sexy <laughs> etc but i couldn't wife one yeah that's... just because the way i look at it is my woman is my woman yeah she can't even look at another man yeah like if we're, like the, she's not even allowed to get in a car with another man she's not allowed to i might sound like a crazy nah, man you look like a just, psycho here <laughs> no i am no, I say it as it is i am completely nuts like if that's my woman you, you untouchable it. yeah you're not looking you're not breathing the same air you better like get out of your own oxygen tank <laughs> because you're not breathing the same air as another man well loads of girls love that so you know and have you never wanted like a protective man a man who's oh yeah definitely my type is just like protective, dominant alpha males who are like psychopaths. But then, <laughs> so, but then, isn't it really hard to find the middle bound? Well, I just get. I suppose I can just. It just means I wind them up more. Yeah, but I'd kill you. I'm being I'm, honestly. If, if you if you was my partner <laughs> and you come home to me and said, "They started OnlyFans," <laughs> I would genuinely kill you. I know. I love pushing boundaries, though. Not pushing boundaries. Just, just like winding people up but then don't you think it's gonna be very hard for you to find a real relationship i know that's why i'm like i need to stop i need to i need to be like chill and like not want to like and wind young, guys i see up but it's like, just addictive and it's you're, funny you're 21 years old <laughs> you're, you're 21 years old to be fair, i'm still young i don't that's need to I mean. find that's a guy yet you know i have time to like change my ways but you are aware as well that all these pictures you've posted oh yeah they're are on the out internet. there for life at least they're fit though <laughs> at least i'm looking good <laughs> but that's not that's not the way to think of it like yeah your them pictures what happens when your kids look at them pictures and say oh mom do you know what i look at it it's just another human body at the end of the day we all have a pair of tits all lads have a dick like kid my kids are gonna have whatever they're all gonna we, we all have the same like different bodies so if the pictures on the internet like just, it's just you could look at it in an artistic way you know you see paintings and statues of like naked women so you're a piece of art that's what you are you're telling me you're a piece of art yeah the body the human body is an artwork (laughs) if you want to look at it that way you can this is the way i'm telling myself that's i guess you've got to have that kind of brain yeah i just have a really chill mindset and i just really don't care i suppose to be an only fans girl you have to like not care and you're just not what about the hate you must get hate I think it's hilarious. I don't even look at hate anymore. I just do my own thing. I like live in my own bubble. Like it's all from like, do you know what? Yeah, it's either from like fucking feminists. It's either from like virgins, forty-year-old virgin guys, fourteen-year-olds on TikTok. It's funny. It's like from Mr. John with no profile picture, like trying to violate me. Like, mate, you're sitting behind your computer screen, like t- taking time out of your day to bring me down they're just bringing me down to bring themselves back up at the end of the day that's what haters are really about that's why it doesn't bother me at all they clearly have issues within themselves so they have to project all that onto someone else to make themselves feel better my biggest issue with OnlyFans girls is the fact that they make it so easily accessible and you you make it seem like it's so easy to make so much money because Mm -hmm. it is you're making loads I don't even need to ask how much you're making because I know all the girls that do OnlyFans are making thousands a week Mm. but it's ruining the female of what a woman should be. Yeah. A man should be the breadwinner. 
Mm-hmm. He should, and all jokes aside, unless your man's a footballer or a drug dealer, he can't make the same money as you. Yeah, he can't. Then there's no man that can go and get a good, like a normal job that he's going to bring home tens of thousands of pounds a week. Mm. He can't. He can't compete. So you're ruining the masculinity of a man. Like a man should be the mm. breadwinner, come home, pay the bill. I'm the man. Yeah. It, it's it's. Do you not feel like it's, it's hard for you to do that? No. Nah. You just don't get. I a think fuck. it's funny. Just like testing a few things, like you know, it's all stereotypes. Like just testing stereotypes. At the end of the day, mixing it up. I think I like kind of like if I was seeing a guy and like I was making more money than like. It's... Don't you want a man who makes more? Nah, I, to be honest, I kind of like wearing the the shoes in the relationship. Seriously. Not like in not in like a I like a dominant man, but at the end of the day, like I still kind of like calling the shots. It's so strange, like do you know. I feel like I'm quite bossy. And so, not in the bedroom. Not in the bedroom. <laughs> Let me get that straight. Just in the outside. Obviously, you have collabed with pretty much everyone out there. Around my age group, pretty much ticked off most of the guys, yeah, that do OnlyFans. What kind of guys' names do you collab with? Any big names? I collab with, like, I don't know, like, Brad Greenwood. He used to do TikTok. Um, like, just basically loads of TikTok. And when you collab with someone, who gets paid? Oh, both of us, basically. We'll make the video. He'll make it for his page and I'll sell it on my page. we just sell it on each other's pages. So it's pages. like two separate videos, two separate yeah, accounts, basically. Yeah, because they'll have different subs. I'll have different subs. I'll sell it to mine. He sells it to his. Or if I'm doing it with girls, like, we can mix and match, add a few girls into the video. Do and what's the most you've made from, like, one video? From one video, I definitely paid six figures from one video. Like, I made a video with a tax man. With a tax man? A taxi man. Not a taxi driver? This is probably like my, fake yeah, taxi? No, it's not fake. This is probably like my worst doing. It's pretty bad, yeah. So how much you make from that video? Like probably six figures, yeah. I don't want to throw actual numbers, but I'd say that because I, you, I'm sorry, that's just content you will not see anywhere else. Like I was, this was when I was 18. I was wild. I was actually like off the rails badly. So is that, are them videos still available to watch now? Oh no, I've, I've stuck it down now. <laughs> Why'd you take it down? Because it's just like too much. <laughs> Hold on, what the fuck was this video? It was just me literally after a night out shagging a taxi driver a stranger like yes, random yeah fuck off i know what well, you met this random guy and slept with him and filmed it and posted it to only fans yeah he gave me permission i know yo you know the world honestly i know the world is fucked the world is finished like yeah. th- this this whole world is completely done out to be fair though Who that was it? when i was 18 well, obviously he's holding the camera isn't he so how did the conversation get to that so obviously on in the cab, I just dropped W taxi driver Riz, and one thing led to another. So I was really drunk. So this you're time. on your way home from a night out, and you just said to the taxi man, "Yo, like you know, do you want to film something quick?" <laughs> well, we were talking and getting along. How old was this guy? Like forty, maybe, maybe older. I was kind of going through like an older guy phase. And you told him what you was going to be doing, kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. And I told him, all, like, I told him my life story, basically. Told them all about it, and like, I think I just like made this taxi driver's fantasy come true. But yeah, honestly, to be fair, I've grown up from them, and I would never at the at this age of twenty one. But when I was eighteen, I was a different breed. Yeah. And you made six figures from that. Yeah, well, I suppose you could say the video was worth it. Yeah, definitely. So. No, I hear. It turned out from a really big mistake to actually something good. Did you get hate from that? Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, of hate. course. You've seen your reaction, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, but a lot of people must have thought it was, like, staged. Oh, yeah. everyone, loads of people thought it was staged. That's what I, mean. I was like, yeah, nah. But, like, you kind of, you could see in the video, like, it was not staged. Like, you can just, you know, you can tell when something's staged. Yeah, of course, but, like, of course. It was literally, like, yeah, anyway. <laughs> well, listen, you That's can't complain, but do, do you not feel like it's going to be pretty impossible for you to ever... So, look, let's say you make a couple million from OnlyFans, yeah? Yeah. You're now, let's say 30, you do it for the next nine years, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's about 28, 29, 30, that's a good age to settle down. Yeah. You agree? Yeah, yeah. What's the plan? Like, what do you actually want to do next? Because... Oh, well, the whole plan was obviously do OnlyFans, make it as much money as possible, and then actually, like, make businesses. Yeah, that's what I mean. So what kind of... invest in property, invest in whatever I want, really. I'd love to buy, like, apartments in Manchester, maybe one out in Dubai, like, to just property would be cool. But I'd actually love to start a business one day. But I've never really, like, I love, like, health in the gym. Like, that's more of their, like, hobby outside the gym. So I'd love to start 
something to do with that like obviously fitness is on the rise yeah of course. so many options out there i haven't really sat down to think about it but when i do i have the money to start up so when i do find this idea that clicks in my head i'm like oh that'd be such a good business idea i'll be able to just kick start it and it'll be fun it'll be like a new project for me to work on as well and like yeah and are you not scared of being portrayed as the only fans um i just think there'll be so many other only fans girls at this point like then by that time the spotlight will be on the new crop that are come in and i'll just have moved on obviously it's a it's a warning but i'll just i just once again like i'll still be able to make my business because i've got the money so the joke will be on them like people are just hating on me like and you genuinely don't have no sort of what's the word fear of being known as i don't know what do people call you Oh, oh, there's so many names. Do you not get sl- it's just like slag, slot, like oh, I kind of like it. It's like come at me, show me the worst you can do. What's going on, guys? This video is sponsored by London Steel Services Limited, based in Hertfordshire on the A10. No job too small, no job too big. Anything to do with metal, these are your guys. Make sure you hit up London Steel Services Limited. All their information is on the screen right now. They offer crazy lead times, 24 to 48 hours on builders, beams, and small fabrication jobs, flatbed and 45 to 90 foot crane high ab deliveries. The jobs they get involved with are barn conversions, extensions, loft conversions, new builds. They can survey, design, supply and install still, or simply just supply. Whatever you need, they're here to help. And if you could tell us one of the craziest stories you've ever had throughout your OnlyFans. In what like sense? Just a, a story that, springs to mind whenever you think of something crazy that's happened obviously the taxi man's a bit oh mad. i got ki- kicked out of oak beach and ibiza for having, why i had a threesome in the toilets it was actually so bad yeah oh, wow. i know it's finished the world's finished i know it was i just remember like you know what guys yeah. listen i want you <laughs> viewers to tell me right now do you agree with me being an alpha male and saying fuck that shit or what did you do with bell or do you agree with bell <laughs> It's <laughs> thinking that it'll be great to have a threesome in Ocean Beach. How did Yo you get caught? You only live once. You genuinely had a threesome in o- Ocean Beach. It didn't last long, obviously, because like the, the security guards were banging on the door, and then I was so out of it at this point. Just remember, just they knocked on the door, and like four security guards were outside, like, "Hey, <laughs> get uh, out!" And uh, how so, did they clock though? How did they? Because like we. <laughs> when was this? Like, by this, the way? Like, this like two years ago. You're, you was a baby. You was nineteen years old. Oh, I know. And was this like content for OnlyFans? I just thought it'd be funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, this was filmed? No, it was filmed, yeah, but like it wasn't released because it was just like a bit of a mess. But like, it's just like, my group was pretty wild. Do you go to for every year? Yeah, I'll be going in two weeks. You're going in two weeks? Yeah. So what, what's, what the <laughs> what's the plan? What's the plan for that? <laughs> Trying to top the freezer? We'll wait and see. Can we top it? can always top it are you banned from uh, ocean beach you nah gonna, i just got kicked out i went back the next day i Do kept you... it i kept it cool though i didn't like make any scene that time yo that is but oh. i think loads of people do it in ocean beach come on well they have threesomes in a fucking Maybe toilet threesomes but like a cheese shark in the toilet but do you not feel like you, you have... Listen, don't get me wrong. Don't take no offence to what I'm saying. I'm just throwing it from all no. the Do you not feel like you have no respect for yourself? <laughs> like, genuinely, I'm asking you straight up because... I don't really care. <laughs> do you not feel like you've got to have that woman pride and you, you, you can't... Because all I'm jokes just aside, listen, I don't, I don't really <laughs> give a fuck, but I'll that is slutty. I'll cry in like, the I'll, Maldives in my villa or mansion while everyone like hates on me. So you genuinely That's so think, slowly, isn't it? <laughs> no, it, it is. Listen, listen, I'm be real. I listen, I'm as real as they come. I'm not here to please anyone. Like this yeah. is my show Same. for a reason. I'm not here to please anyone. No, but that's anyone. how it's gotta be. That's yeah. the best way to be. Even me when people say people try and say I'm not the world's fastest growing show. I am. Prove me wrong. But with you it's a bit a bit different. <laughs> but I think listen, at the end of the day, one thing I will say is as long as you know what you're doing and you know what is on the line then fair enough. The only yeah, oh, yeah. Thing, yeah. As long as you know that and you can take responsibility for that, do your thing. The mm. only thing that I think is a bit mad is, God forbid, when you do have kids, they've now got to live in your mm. shit you fucked think, up. though, they might have a bit of backlash, but they'll be brought up and like living a very nice life. Yeah, but sometimes it's not about a nice life. Yeah, like, true. But 
if they'll be loved and that's at the end of the day you know they'll be brought up in a like me personally world. me personally i was brought up in a council estate mm-hmm. i had nothing to be brought up like mm-hmm. touch wood now i'm doing well but Do I, I, I was say? yes wood well done <laughs> no but me truthfully i was brought up a council estate single mum. i there was, i got five brothers and sisters times were hard Mm-hmm. If someone said to me, your mum got an OnlyFans and you have a million pounds, I'd say, fuck that. I want to stay in this council flat. Yeah. There is no way I would trade that for anything. But mm. you've done that. Your mm-hmm. pictures are out there. When you yeah. have kids, they're going to 100%. It happened to me in school. Mm. One of the girls' mums in my school was a porn star. Yeah. And she got she left the school in year seven because she could not deal with... All the boys were... Your, oh, let me see your mum. Let me see your mum. Let me see your mum. Yeah. Nah, that's not difficult but still then that's going to be in like 10 15 years time who knows what the world is going to be but you might still be doing it because it's going to be i wouldn't do it if i have kids or if i'm planning or i'm standing down like i'll just but it's there regardless if you have the kids or not it's so then in your head you're going to say fuck it it's already there why don't let me just just dye my hair it's fine i'll just go back ginger (laughs) you'll just dye your hair that makes go back ginger that's where my roots go well that just changes who you are that just removes all the past yeah Yeah. or just change your name there you go just change your name as sweet as got it it's okay I'll figure it out. I always do. Listen. You know, it's not all... You have to look at the positives, though. At the end of the day, I get to help my family out now. Like, I have a half-brother. He lives in a shithole, basically. Like, his parents... Like, my, that's from my dad's side. He's got a mum who slaves away and working as a nurse every day in Dublin. Like, now I'll be able to help him out. Do you help him? Well, yeah. And do he's going to be going to school and I'll get him into college. He's only, what, like, 10 now. I can set him up a fund that he'll be able to get out when he's 18. Because I'm not giving it to the parents but like he'll be able to reach that Did you help your mum you close with your mum my mum's pretty well off you, you close with her now oh best friends like absolute and best friends she literally does all my finances she's actually a financial advisor so and she's got no issue with you doing what you do she just I, she knows i'm happy i'm she's happy now that i've made money because you know like i said back when i was 18 it was concerning that's what i do and so i'm just out here living my best life so just, as long as i'm happy and healthy and safe so do you I not have, that's all that matters. Do you not have days when it gets too much? Me. Like, as in, there must be days where you sit there and think, like, what the fuck am I doing? Or um, would you not have them nah. days? I've actually never had one of them days. I just wake up and think I'm just... I'm just, like, I'm just grateful to be here. Like, I'm grateful for every day. I'm grateful Look, credit where I'm, credit's due. You've got mad good energy. I've got to be real with you. you. <laughs> like, you have got good I'm energy. Just a, I'm just a chill girl. <laughs> You're not, like... You know what it is? You meet some girls and then behind closed doors, they're depressed. Yeah, they're upset. Exactly. They're upset. What the fuck am I doing with my life? Mm. You genuinely, I can see it. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's the, the truth. You ge- but the thing is, you can't give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. Because the second you start giving a fuck, you will literally go into mad depression because you'll yeah. be like, fuck, what am I doing with my I life? I just woke up one day and I was like, it is all isn't that deep. I'm just happy, just grateful. I'm just going to move on and just live my best life while I can. So, yeah. Oh, look, listen, i got to respect it. <laughs> because I don't know, agree with it, but it's just like... 2023, like this, it could be worse. There is matter. What do you mean shit. worse? What worse? What, oh, come what, what on. worse are you gonna do? There's matter shit happening. Go on, tell me. Like, th- I feel bad. I think, like, no offense, to prostitutes, but like, I think prostitution is. All right, horrendous. let me ask you a question. All right, with all due respect, yeah, I'm asking a question here. Yeah. Isn't what you're doing prostitution? Well, I'm not shagging any lads. But okay, what it's is? All, all right, no, all right, fair enough. What is prostitution? Tell me. Well, it's like when uh It's when someone you sell your body. Pay someone for sex. No, no, prostitution is where you sell your body. Yeah. Sell your body. Yeah. I don't know if prostitution means actually fucking. Does it not? Well, you know, this is what I'm trying to get at. I mean, like, shagging for money. All right, so Whatever it, you claim in my that, eyes... I think that is... What, in my eyes, what you're doing... It's prostitution. ...is classed as prostitution. Okay, I'll add that to my list of... <laughs> in your CV, prostitution. In my CV, prostitution. <laughs> no, no, but... <laughs> you don't give a fuck. The thing is, I'm, try, I'm trying my best to sit here and try and... Like, Come for me. Yeah, but not, in a, me. but not in a bad way. No, no, not violate you at all, but challenge, challenge your opinion. Challenge me. I'm trying to challenge your opinion on How's things. and going? You don't care. <laughs> How's that working out for you? But the problem is you genuinely, like, when I was, uh, as you was coming here, I was like, yeah, I want to go for a different go thing. I want to try, yeah. try and get her, make her feel like shit. Not <laughs> as it make you feel shit, but make you feel like shit. This is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, have some remorse. You're just sitting there, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is I what it no is. I feel no remorse, guys. But so you don't agree with me? You don't think what you do is prostitution? Um, nah. I suppose maybe you could see it as prostitution. Because at the end of the day, maybe I just haven't got the term all wrong. Well, I don't know. Listen, I don't know if it means actually sleeping with someone. But let's Mm. just go down the route of you sell your body for money, right? Yes. And 
Yeah, I sell photos. I sell pictures. Oh my god, I have videos. All right, I you sell videos. You sell pictures or videos, yeah. but it's your body. Yeah, yes. you're selling access to your body mm. for a value, right? Yeah. Is that not what women do for prostitution? I suppose like selling your body, just like just feeling a picture on like online form. But don't you think? Don't you think you started off with doing? I'm guessing you probably started with bikini photos. Oh, that didn't last long. No, but you start. Yeah, with, started everyone with starts bikini, with like a little bit of cleavage showing. Then they go to bikini. Then yeah. they go to underwear. Then they go to a little bit of this, little bit of that, and then it leads to sex videos. <laughs> do you not think that? eventually it will come to you if someone's going to offer you the right money you're going to sleep with them oh, I've gotten offered so many amounts of money like what's the most you've 20, ever been offered 50, 20 grand 50 grand like to get flown out by like, rich men and like nah I just I just couldn't do that to be honest it's just too far for me I feel like that would like fuck me up I just feel I you don't think that's that. the same as what you're doing well I'm not sticking a dick in me am I <laughs> maybe not real ones no but but you, you're sleeping with content creators for yeah, but th- I wouldn't just like well, now I wouldn't just like sleep with a random like I'm. Well, like these are we're all working together. It's weird. It's like in my friend group. Like I, I filmed half the guys in my group. But we all do only fans. So, so you're filming all... with random. Well, your friends, let's say. Yeah, friends. And you're like... selling the videos for money. Yeah. Please explain to me the difference between that and prostitution. So one video is sold online, and then the other person is getting a male's genitalia. But you are inside them. But you're having. But not like. Yeah, but that's because I, like, they're not paying me. The like the creators. But they're, they're not paying you. But you you know you're gonna gain from that video because you wouldn't sleep with them if you're not gonna get a video. I suppose when you put it in that form, maybe maybe it could be prostitution. Like I said, that's a new one. Look, I just wanna I just <laughs> wanna understand. I, do you know what it is? I don't want the viewers to sit here and be like, you should ask her this question. I just mm-hmm. wanna throw everything at you. Throw it. And I just know you're gonna sit me. there and say, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so as much as I, I feel like this is, it's good because I understand that it's you and you genuinely don't care. Mm-hmm. But the reason I got you on here is because you're a baby. I'm not much older. I'm only yeah. 24. But mm-hmm. I've only been like I'm kind of the younger ones doing it, I suppose. That I like quite top at the moment. And so, how big are you in OnlyFans? Like I don't. Well, I, I'm I don't... from the top 0.04 worldwide. There came a time when when I went viral for the first time. I had 28,000 subs at one time, and like that was like insane. Like that was like is that a lot? I, I don't know. 28,000 but... paid subscribers. So how many have you got now? Now I have nine point five k. So how come it drops? Just don't like, you just get bigger as it goes, or no? Nah, it's like that's a lot. Like it's just because I went viral in America. That was two years for? ago. For what? Just TikTok. Just TikTok videos going viral. More Americans sub to OnlyFans in the UK. Now my videos get pushed more to the UK people. So like the mo- the average amount of subs a normal OnlyFans girl would get would be like two or three k, I'd say. So you're big. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be top zero point zero one, so that's in the top highest for like a year last year. I was top zero point zero one for ages, and that is the highest you can get. Top zero point zero one of OnlyFans. Wow, yeah. that is massive. So that's... I mean, that's why I don't care because when you when you're making that much money, it's like. Do you not feel like there needs to be some sort of limit as well to it? Um, limit. Like, how much money are you gonna make? But you're losing your respect for yourself mm. as time goes on. Do you not think okay, cool, I've made this much enough now? Or you yeah, just think, I've made it, let me keep going. Yeah. Like, like where is your number? Do you not have like a... Do you not that's have the like, thing, I don't know when to put a stop. Because that's what I mean, everyone, anything. even me, in my head, I know what figure I want to get to. Yeah. That's my retirement figure. That is the number mm-hmm. I want to be to and then sweet, I'm done. Yeah, I do just want to have... be on top. It's like, once I get to a certain figure, I'm like, nah, I can do better, I can do better. I'm just motivated to keep going and going and going. But there will come a time where I'm going to have to be like, right, come on. Like, Because you're going fi- to you're, you're find a guy who says, you ain't fucking doing that. You know that as and well. And I'll tell you... him to fuck off. But, <laughs> so let's say you find your future husband. Future like, husband. The man you want to spend the rest of your life with. Yeah. And he says, and you you fall for him. You're in love. Um, and he says, Belle, seriously, you ain't fucking doing that no more. You're mine. If he tells me that, then he isn't the man for me. He'll accept me for what I am. What's going on, guys? This video is being brought to you by Morris Andrews Solicitors. As you're all aware, we've done a season two all about crime. If you watch that all and you're in any situation like that and need help getting out of the situation, reach out to Morris Andrews Solicitors and see if there's something they can help you with. Remember, there's a defense for every offense. But don't you feel like that? The way I look at it, if you're with me, you're my Mm -hmm. property, yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about all these guys saying you can't own women. No, no. I do. If you're my woman, you're mine. Yeah. You belong to me. Mm-hmm. You're not selling my body. Yeah. It's my body. I own you. I claimed you. Mm. 
You're not going to go and sell what's mine. I'd get the guy to sell. He can join in the fun. Nah, I wouldn't all, do we it. We can all sell our bunny together and be a big happy family. Cute. Family goals. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I wish you the best of luck with it. I true, I honestly do. Can I say I told you so? I've got my nice husband. <laughs> I, I, listen, me personally, do you know what it is? I think I come from a Mediterranean background. Yes. Where I think us Mediterranean men and most other men, we look at our women and that's our reflection of ourselves. Yeah. My female is going to be my lady. I'm going to respect her, love her, care for her, protect her, fight for her, whatever it is. And for like her to... Go body on. count under five kind of thing. You know, body count's always been a thing with me. I never ask. I don't want to know because that's your past. Everyone has a past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to know. I like that. I don't care because 99% of the time she's going to lie anyway. Oh, yeah. So I don't really give a fuck. Mm -hmm. She's going <laughs> to say it's like three. Every girl's apparently shagged oh. three guys. They all say three, three, uh, three. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like for that far, no. Three. Yours like, let's a, be realistic. Yeah, but yours girls. is a little bit different. Yeah. Yes, you, you, you get paid to fuck. Yeah. Let's be real, you do. It's, it's different. But I think as a like Mediterranean guy, we respect our women. Our women is our world. And I couldn't... I'd end up killing everyone. I'd lose my head. I'd go yeah. mental. It's not for everyone. I think that's the... The good thing is, though, if you can find someone who understands that and respects that, then good for you. But I don't think you're... Gonna... Well, guys, applications are open. They're open, yeah? If you want to be my husband... And lose our self-respect together. You've lost it. Honestly, listen. I actually have lost it, you know. No, but you know what? <laughs> I respect it because you, you have lost it, 100%. No, no, no. 100% you've Long lost ago. it. But I don't think you give a fuck. No. You just... I know for a fact, like, it's it's not even just all this sort of, it's like, you actually have to be very business-minded and marketing, like, to get to where you are because it's, it's saturated now. Could, yeah, there are say. thousands of only parents girls and I might have been done with school but I've got the mindset for business and so that's why think, I've gotten to where I am today. What do you think makes you different Sales, to the others? Sales, just the way I do things. You like? You can just see. Like I don't want to give my secrets away. No, no, but what do you think makes you tactics. different? my sales tactics. Just because, like I said, like the videos I do, like you just don't get anywhere else. I've done a video in a portly at a festival. Me and my best friend did a video in our tent at a festival. I've gotten with a tax director. Like, done that i beat the videos like my page was fun you just it's it's content what i came out with i want to be unique i need to stand out i need to go out of the box do shit that other only fans girls don't do and i've done just that so if i want to stand out i feel like i've done it and just being active and showing the subscribers like when they join i want them to be like whoa this page is crazy and yeah for five pound a month five pound a month so you think, so that's what you're worth? Um, I think it's like, nah, it's just, I think it's a good deal. Because once they get in, they're going to want to, they're going to want more. So you, so you value your pride at five pound a month? Pretty much. I suppose, yeah. You could do say you, that's why pride had gone out the window. Do you not, like, I don't understand. You're, I can't even battle you because you don't give a fuck. Do you not feel like, yo. Come on, don't, don't back down. Like your mum, your dad, you got sisters, brothers, anyone? Uh, what, about the, what about the men in your family? Men. Um, my dad's out of the picture. Because my dad, my if, my, if my sister come to me and said, I'm doing OnlyFans, I swear to God, that's not my sister no more. Oh, Hand be, on my be, heart, she's done. She'd be out of here. Do you no, no, she's done, done, finished. I'm, no, 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 yeah. no, no way. You think people are going to say, yo, Mikey Mellon's sisters are OnlyFans? Uh, no chance. No chance. In no like way. Her. What about the men in your family? Because women, um, women can sometimes accept it. But a man is a man. My granddad's a G. I think he'd have a heart attack if he found out, but he's pretty old anyway. So, um, so hopefully by the time his day comes, like he won't have found out, and I'll be like chilling. Um, uncle's gay, so like he don't care. He wouldn't care, would he not? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, obviously my dad's not in the picture, so has your dad ever been in the picture? Yeah, and I've caught him out of my life because what? he was just quite abusive, to be honest, and I. I said basically to my mum, I basically said to her like either me or him and I said I'm walking out of the house if he's not gone and, and is your mum and dad still together? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. So like I Do you think that's what's made you kind of strive to be so independent, the fact that he was yeah. a bit of a bad parent or who am I to judge, but because he weren't there for you, you kinda of said, You know what? 
I want to do it all myself. I don't ever want a yeah, man to be. Yeah, exactly. I just like being independent. I like doing it all myself. Like that's why all these girls have managements and shit, and I'm like, I could so never do that. So you have no that. management. No, 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 no. I could never have a management. I don't want anyone trying to tell me what to do or run my page. That's all me. I want to do that shit myself. So and your I, phone I, must I feel not like stop. We're fulfilled doing it myself too. It's fun. I get to run it and like plan things and like think of ideas, chat to all my fans. Like it's just yeah. I wouldn't want a shitty management like fucking up my page. No offense to managements. I'm sure there's some like all right ones out there, but like that's not for me. Yeah. Well, look. Yeah. At the end of the day, all I can say is you respect your you respect what you do. You respect your grind. Yes. I don't. <laughs> I let the comments decide what they think, guys. If you I just, already know what's coming, guys. You, honestly, hear me out. So at the end of the day, what I want to say is you respect what you do. You're happy with it. You know the consequences that are coming in in the long run. Yeah. I'm ready for them when they when the time comes. And Actually, not right now. No, no, not right now. You yeah. do, listen, but you never know. You never know what happens in the future. You don't know what's going to happen next year. Yeah, exactly. I take every day, day by day. Guys, I want you, the viewers, if you agree with me and you think that what I'm saying is correct, I want you to all go and hit the like button. Let's see what you lot think. If you agree with Belle, go and subscribe to her or some shit like that. Belle of you three, guys. Come join the dark side. And is that your real name, honestly? Belle of you, yeah. Belle Olivia, if you lot agree with her, all her socials will be in the description. Go and message her. Do what the fuck you weirdos want to do. Me, I I'll let you do your thing, girl. You can go and tell them all where to go and all that bullshit. Onlyfans.com slash Olivia 3 Well, listen. Or in the description. It was, a, <laughs> it was a pleasure having you on. Thank you. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I think it's a little bit different to most podcasts. I try and make it different because I don't want to hear about your body count. I don't give a shit about it. Good luck to you. Yeah. And I think... It's different. I like to be different. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see, you, I'll see you soon in person, not online. Yes, <laughs> see thank you, you for there. having me. <laughs>